news, said Dumbledore at dinner. First of all, Ron is missing! Before he could even finish his sentence, everyone but those sluts, Pansy, Pravati, Lavender, and Millicent started cheering. Oh, wait, now, now, um, Millicent is a slut, too, apparently. Well, she's in Slytherin. Apparently, everyone in Slytherin besides Draco Malfoy is a slut. Well, Parvati and Lavender are in Gryffindor, aren't they? No, one of them's in Ravenclaw. I forget who. No, Padma's in Ravenclaw. Padma's in Ravenclaw, Parvati's in Gryffindor, but somehow that makes her a slut anyway. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird story. <laughs> it seems he ran away during a Defense Against the Dark Arts class, Dumbledore continued. No one has seen him since. Now for the bad news. I lost my favorite Jonas Brothers album! I wonder where that sexist idiot went, I asked Draco as Pansy started crying. Who knows, but we're better off without him, laughed Draco. Hey, this is my brother we're talking about, shouted Ginny angrily. I should be happier than anybody then that sexist slime is gone. Sorry, Jin, I apologized. We were being insensitive, but where could he have gone? Maybe he moved to Texas suggested Luna. There are a lot of sexist people there. Wow. Way to insult like an entire state <laughs> in one sentence. Just, wow. He could hang out with uh, Hank and his Hank friend. Hank Hill. Yeah, Hank Hill and his friend. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's probably what happened, I said. <laughs> Wizard logic. Wizard logic hoping that this didn't have anything to do with what Ron had said about having his revenge against me. Um, I think it does. Hey, now that Ron's gone, we can wear sexy clothes without worrying about being raped, <laughs> said, Herm <laughs> said Hermione, <laughs> said Hermione, Hermione, happily. Let's all go shopping at Hogsmeade yeah. tomorrow. Okay, said me. Never mind. Said me, Ginny, Luna, and Padma. We all went to our common rooms. Draco brought me to the empty boys' dormitory. Hey, Crystal, he said. I want to show you how much I love you. He started snogging and excitedly pulling off each other's clothes. Wait, he started snogging who? Himself. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we were down to our underwear, I was getting really turned on. Hey, what's going on here? yelled Blaze a beanie standing in the entrance of the dormitory with Crab and Goyle. Do you mind? Draco demanded. Can't you see I'm a little busy here? No, we want to go to sleep now, <laughs> Blaze said impatiently. Make her leave. <sighs> I'm sorry. I guess you'll have to leave, he told me. It's okay, I replied. It's not your fault. It kind of is, because he did bring her there, but you know. It's I felt sad that I didn't get to have sex with Draco, but I put on my clothes because I didn't want to go back to the dormitory and dress my underwear, because then Pansy and Millicent would think I was a slut like them. Well, you were the one that actually, like, you know, almost had sex. They haven't Almost. Those haven't, those people haven't done anything. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> After I got back to my dormitory, I stripped my underwear and went to bed. Wait, why, why did you bother putting clothes <laughs> on? You're just gonna take them off again. <laughs> That's pointless. Okay, well... That's, Chelsea, that's like saying, why would you take off your pajamas in the morning? You're gonna put them back at night. I'm still wearing my pajamas, and it's like almost one in the afternoon. Yeah. But, anyway, we'll leave you with that while we record the next chapter. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs> Yo! Cameron! You there? Hello? Cameron? What? I lost my keys. Gossip Girl's about to be on. Man, come on, it's my shit, bro! Not now, man, I'm busy. Oh my god, are you with Daniela again? No! Chelsea? Jackie? The whore from down the street again? Here's your shirt. Not now, man. Fuck!